It's the first round of semifinals on no cover, with four bands competing for one chance to enter the finals. Slay Squad Jenny March, Native Howell, and Josie Pace each won their respective first rounds. In preparation for their last chance to move on to the finals, all four bands met up for some short-term mentorship with these insightful industry pros. Frontman of the iconic metal band Black Veil Brides and star of the TV show Paradise City, Andy Black. Alt-pop powerhouse singer and our incredible judge, Bishop Briggs. Bass player for Ozzy Osbourne, CEO of Brand Management and Mercy Council member, Blasco Nicholson. And shock rock icon slash no cover judge, Alice Cooper. Hi, Jenny. I'm Andy. Hey, Andy. Very nice to, nice meet, you. to meet you. The kind of exciting thing for me is talking to somebody who's from where I'm from, and now you're on this yeah. journey where you're on this show, and obviously you trying to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. What, what oh, was yeah. your experience in going from Cincinnati to uh, to LA, and how did that go with like friends or school or whatever else? My parents were like, "You're gonna go to college," so yeah. went to college, and you know it's cool. I learned a lot. So I learned a lot about the music business, so music marketing and music business, and a little about music production too. So you know, I think that definitely helped me be a more well-rounded uh, artist. I'm completely uneducated, so yeah. I didn't even finish high school. Yeah, so that's like, not a gotta, prerequisite my, to rock and roll. My parents were like, you gotta, yeah, totally <laughs> not. <laughs> so, hey, dudes. I kind of find that, you know, the best bands is a band to where their origin story is a little difficult to detect, you know? Like, I don't know anything about bluegrass or not enough to where, you know, and so I think that's cool. And then, I think the other flip side of that is a band that can't be replicated easily. Thrash grass is what we do, it's what we came up with, and now we're going to do that to the best of our ability for the next record. Hello! Yeah. Hi, how's it going? I am so happy that we got paired together. Nice. I have to tell you, I was very, very excited. I mean, we should do a little like huddle. I would love to like all sit and chat. I did get inspired. I, I went through your entire discography and I was just basically like thinking like, what is a way to get your music into arenas? I feel like the main thing is having a chorus that people in stadiums can sing along to. I one time had this producer say to me like, what's more important, melody or lyrics? And he was like, sing Thriller for me. Thriller now. Na 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 yeah, it's, just, it's all of a sudden now very intense for the next two hours. As soon as that curtain comes down, then yeah, back to this. I am this way every day. I go to the store dressed like this, yeah. in leather jackets or whatever. So I need to just make myself more of myself on stage. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to look like Josie or us no. to do that. You could be any band that's a normal you band. You can be the Black Crows. You can even you can wear jeans and a t-shirt, but yeah. you still have to be the coolest guy in the room when you walk on stage. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's girl. that's posture. That's everything. I find you to be a very nice person. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so don't be on stage. Yeah, it's a I get that, yeah. She's nicer on stage. Actually. It would be, you know, to me, I would love it at some point for her to walk over to you and say, uh, oh, oh my gosh, wow, well, you That happens when you rehearse a long time. <laughs> We're going to talk about you becoming a rock and roll version of you. How do you feel about that? I think it's pretty cool. Alice gave you some comments. He and... did, yeah. And, you know, he really wants to see me with a full band. And I love performing with a full band. I just thought that song particularly didn't require, you know, a sure. full band. But I'm excited to give him a full band performance next time. I'm really excited and I would love your input on how to, you know, make my performance. It is a pop song, but it has like alternative rock influence and there's a lot of guitars in it. And I think I could, you know, do something with the guitars and drums and, you know, in my voice also and try to, you know, take it in a more rock way. I listen to the song and I think that that song in particular, I, I can see how it could be this big thing. You've already got yeah. such a good base for what the song is. It's a beautiful song. Thanks. Part of the the kind of like the pageantry and the the 
large, larger than life nature of rock and roll is that those types of songs, the space that you can fill with this big instrumentation mm -hmm. and make it feel massive. I'm sure you've seen Queen and Freddie Mercury and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. That is like, to me, that's such a nice cross section of pop music yeah. and pageantry and rock and roll and fashion so and everything else. So if you can take as much of that into what you're doing and have yeah. it really feel like it's this ultimate show. Because the one thing about rock and roll, more than any other genre, is that the show element, the live yeah. part of it. Which is the funnest part. Right, exactly. Yeah. It is, it is, it's like electric church. Yeah. You know, it's it's <laughs> this, it's this big larger than life moment where everybody feels it in a way that it's not to, to say that pop music or anything else doesn't have that, but yeah. there is such a uh, a magnetism and such an importance in rock and roll. So I think yeah. if you were able to take and... one of your songs that that already has such an excellent chorus and already yeah. has such a big feel to it and bring that level of just huge, larger-than-life attitude, I, it, it, you'll be unbeatable. Yeah, good to know. I will definitely go hard. What brings you to the contest? The festival packages is a big one for us. Yeah, yeah just getting on bigger slots. That's what we want, is to just play in front of large of groups of yeah. people. If, like, money and to, all, everything else aside, like, we just want that feeling. To me, you guys have everything that I would look for, um, so if, you know, you don't win the competition. Let's figure out what we can do together. I think first and foremost, regardless if you win or not, uh, I manage a band called Clutch that I think you'll fit great with. So I'd love to put you guys on that. Yeah. We've talked about we're wanting in. to play with Clutch before, so that's yeah, great, man. In. So yeah. and I talked to them already about it and, and I sent them the video and they're like, yeah, great. So let's do some shit. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. What else? So I'd love to play you this little thing I have. Do you want to? Hear it? Okay, okay. So, okay. <laughs> These holy days won't go away, won't go away. My broken heart won't heal these scars. some sort of transition and then hallelujah oh, oh. Now, Josie, this next person coming in, I don't know if you've ever heard of Hurricane Nita Strauss. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> Nita is a force of nature. <laughs> when she first got in the band, uh, the only thing I ever told her, I didn't need to tell her anything, she owned that stage as soon as she got there, was when I move back and it's time for your solo, you are Alice Cooper now. I said, so you have to have the same intensity that I had. And that's the only thing I ever had to tell her. When I get asked all the time what it's like to play with Alice Cooper, like he's so intimidating. You know, he's so mean. He's, you know, he see him walk around the stage. He's stalking the audience. A fan will throw him a bouquet of roses, and he breaks it over his knee and tosses the the wreckage into the crowd. And you kind of want people to think you're going to be mean. Yeah. You want people like when they leave the show, be like, I don't know if I want to say hi to her. Oh, <laughs> she's <great>. she's intimidating. <laughs> she's scary. And so that's kind of the juxtaposition of like creating that character that can intimidate people, that can, you know, be larger than life, be that that persona that someone goes, I'm I'm pretty scared of her. And then afterward, when you meet them in person, then that's your time to say, Hey, thank you so much for coming to the show. Be gracious sure. and be sweet. Yes, exactly. So in terms of the songs that you're playing tonight, you get two songs versus one. One's a little more on the bluegrassy side. One's on the more metal side. But do you think we should do something a little? that shows depth, a little slower tempo too, to break it up, or do we just hit them with what we do best? I think you just hit them with what you do best. If you do something that's maybe skewed more bluegrass or skewed more metal, then you're not getting everybody. I was thinking of too, with Into the Darkness, the, the verse melody feels familiar, and so I think maybe the judges might pick up on that. It's interesting to hear that, yeah, just your the way you see that. And he's dead on too. You yeah. are. You're right. Something to consider. You got, For sure. You got what, an hour? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs>
best of luck. That's my suggestion. Thank you, man. So thank you. Thank, that, you. thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure to For sure. talk with you. Yeah. Yeah. Truly. <laughs> totally. It's really cool, like, especially with this show, you No know, Cover, is that you get to play originals and you get to feel that belief because other, other shows of this nature, um, it's all about theatrics. It's all about your vocal chops and, and hitting notes and well, doing that's, you know, all that's that stuff. A, 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 and, American, and half the time you don't believe that person even if though they hit the note. American you know? Idol, I always sit there and said, 80% of these people are gonna be working on cruise ships. <laughs> 10 years from now. <laughs> and, 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 I you, you, Alice. You're awesome. Uh, no, but do you I like this guy. But do you know why? <laughs> yeah. Because anybody can sing a Burt Bacharach song. Exactly. Anybody yeah. can sing a Beatles song. <laughs> you have people that can really sing. Great. Well, yeah. that's great. Writing if you want to work in a lounge, terrific. Yeah. If you want to be a star, you have to say something that's coming from you. Yes. And, you know, that's why you look at other singers and you go, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Great voice. Yeah. yeah. You know? You see yeah. on the carnival cruise. You have to believe. <laughs> <laughs> Rock stars are not crapped out of the sky. They are created and made by people who work a little bit harder than the person next to them and care a lot more than the person next to them. So nice. just go out there and kill it, and you're going to be awesome. Thank you. And then maybe later, since I'm so uneducated, you can teach me about math since I've given you some rock and roll advice. Got you. Great. Hell yeah. <laughs>
Fichier. That was so much fun. You guys took me on a total ride and I loved all the tempo changes and just, yeah, I was just in it, man. I did, I was, it's like, yeah. I know I'm supposed to be like paying attention and trying to like come up with things to like be critical about, but that was just so much fun. I was nervous for today because I was like, oh, I'm gonna be so biased because we worked together. But you make it so easy because you're just so good. It's little things like you you do your thing in tune. Like that's that's crazy. Like to have that pitch. Um, and then I, I, I love the lyrics. They scare me. Like they do, but that's exciting. Thank you. I loved all the changes. Great time changes all over the place. That was cool. Very, very cool. Takes it away from that well, one, you know, one trick thing. You know, it's really good. I love the bass solo, by the way. <laughs> next week, next week. <laughs> that was sick. I noticed that the tempo of the sample and the tempo of the, the drummer didn't actually clash this time, made which was cool. You made some adjustments. Made some adjustments. Yeah, there was more space in this song. Like towards the end where you kind of got to do, you know, utilizing space just makes the heavier parts that much heavier. And I see you got a noise suppressor. I was smiling the whole time. You were so heavy, it's actually comical, which is, <laughs> which is really good. So yeah, good job. You are the band that I've been waiting to see this whole time. A couple of weeks, I've been sat here wishing somebody would tell it from the heart, tell it from, let me know who they are as people. And I love how you, I've never seen someone on samples watching the drummer to get the, to get the moment. Normally no one gives a shit. And you're just exciting and real, and I, I wouldn't want to be any other band going up against you. Uh, I wouldn't, it's too good.
you're a chameleon. <laughs> no, it's like I feel like I've seen like three or four different looks from you, and that's and that's really cool. It's, it, it proves that no matter what situation that you decide to put yourself in, you you study, you know the moves. No matter if you want to be like with a band and be kind of like rock. Avril Lavigne, or if you want to like go full Disney, you totally can do that too. Or if you want to be like singer songwriter at the piano, so I think that's really cool. I'm excited for what's next. Thanks. Great lyrics. Thank you. Yeah. Is that your normal key? Yeah. Is that your normal key? Yeah. I can almost hear you singing that higher. You know, for some reason, you know, I can, your register is it, it was powerful when you went okay. up at the end, way up. Yeah. That that really. I almost wanted to hear that a little sooner. Because okay. that was really, that's where, really where the guts were of that thing. Yeah. You know, very cool though. I definitely feel like you have such an X factor. For this song though, I, I, I feel like I would have loved for it to be um, uh, an electric drum kit. It may be like triggering some samples and like mm -hmm. just kind of beefing it up a little bit more, like yeah. a bit more like sub and, and like you sustaining your notes a little bit more, like just filling it up and like okay. supporting you. You guys have not been playing together very long, right? No, we had one rehearsal last night. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know if that's doing you a favor here. Yes, okay. I don't think it's the strongest song I've heard from you, and I think yeah. the band does come across as like, like you guys kind of just started playing together. Yeah. It's interesting, because I've seen you do a, a range of things, and this pivot doesn't necessarily strike me as the strongest, but okay. um, I'm gonna wait for the next song just to hear what happens. The confessional side, was really intriguing to me. You know about you? And this this is more like you performing. And you're a really great, good performer. It's more like your choice to be the, the aesthetic you chose today. And that's what's yeah. interesting about you, is that you can really, you know what I mean? You can mix it up. I'm wondering where you would go if if I was just sat with you, you know, having a coffee and you'd say, hey, what do you think was the most intriguing part of me? And when you played piano and sang, you know, it's really impressive.
<laughs> you okay? <laughs> that was awesome. That was so much fun, guys. I just couldn't help smiling throughout the whole thing. You guys are shredding, shredding. And that part where you 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 took over and you're all acapella with the harmonies, and then everybody pulls out the capo. That was a cool. That was a cool move. I haven't seen that before. And like as far as just stage presence wise, like that's just amazing. Those are the little tricks that people are going to take away from your concert, being like, dude, did you just, did you just see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was awesome. I just want to commend your musicianship. I feel like structurally, I, I really understood like the structure of the song. I think you're such a compelling front person. The sincerity is just so contagious. So great job. Yeah, so you guys are a lot of fun. You're a band that I feel like what you conceived of doing, you're actually doing. So I'm gonna wait for the next song to just see like how you flesh that further out and then I'll give you my thoughts. Thank you. I mean, you know, every, every guy's a virtuoso on their, on their, on their instrument, it's amazing. And, and when you get everybody that good, that tight, it's pretty powerful. I mean, it's really powerful. Thank you. Yeah. I, I agree with what everyone's saying. I want to make sure it's not too gimmicky. If you're too good, look for like this, to have. Uh, I can't wait anymore. Been down this road before. I need more. I mean, I, I want to slap myself in the face. That's just not, it's not, like if you think of how good you are with everything you do, that's not the best part. And that's the part we need to be the most defining part. What is that big payoff chorus about the stagnation of the music industry, of life, of being down this road before, it suddenly feels not strong, as strong as the idea that you have behind it, you know? Maybe the next song's gonna shut me up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Nice. You are so captivating and visually it just really makes sense. I feel like you guys are all really like complimenting each other. I felt like that was night and day. Like I feel like you just completely own the stage. I thought that was a world of difference. I happen to know that we talked this afternoon and a little known fact is that all of them play every instrument. She can play keyboards, he can play drums, he can be the lead singer. Wow. <laughs> but they, and they all play guitar. But, but, but I think in, in the long run, in a show, that would be an amazing thing to see. You know, I mean, because that's, that's so versatile. If you have that versatility, don't hide it. I think it's really cool what you're going for. You're not trying to be something that you're not, obviously. Um, but, but also, you're trying to find your own niche with it. You're not trying to copy this person or copy the next person. Um, I think that's that's really important in you know not only musically but obviously the way that you look. So, like I said, just keep surprising people. Keep surprising people. And I like your unique approach to your lyrics. You know, I think that's really cool. I think you just keep exploring that and keep pushing the envelope because you can. I loved it. Yeah, the quality of your production is its really nice to hear. I'm used to hearing metal bands be powerful, but I love that there's not a guitar in sight, and it's like, I thought that was really good. I'm looking forward to the next song. Thank you so much. Yeah. I don't understand the image at all. I don't understand the image at all. It's so classy, like I hear Bjork, I hear Porter's head. You know, in terms of the melody choices, you sing great. But you know, also, just so you know, you're gonna encounter, you know, Gavin's in your life, and <laughs> no, 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 and I, so, I hope so. I just, no, okay, so what I want to say, though, is, like, really think about that. What can I say are my influences, you know? My influences were, were Alexander McQueen, more of the, the fashion side yes. of the punk era, and that's how I got the hair. I just saw it in a magazine, and my hair was all the way down to my waist, and I was like, Mom, I'm going to get that haircut. She's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I was like, we'll see, and then it happened. And see, that's so just, cool. That's, I that's love where that. I'm coming from with that, though. is what makes it move. Mm. 
Anytime you leave those holes, that's what makes it. Yeah, that part hot. was so good. Where it went silent, and like the timing was unreal. Like you guys were very, very tight. I have some some uh, observations. Basically, you have two vocalists, obviously, and between hip hop and metal, um, the vocals are like super front and center. I think you guys should try to make some more like vocal hooks. Like not in the realm of melodic, but in the realm of like repetitive. Just choose a section or two of the song, not necessarily a chorus, but like to kind of repeat something or kind of make that the, the focal point. Um, Cause there's not, there's not really melody, that's not what you're going for. But I think if it's gonna be vocal driven, you could maybe work in some vocal hooks a bit more. Something thematic, you know what I mean? So that people can grab hold of it. Cause people are gonna wanna lose their minds at your show. It's like I've been waiting all the show for having someone who writes lyrics that like just just mean something and like, you know, they pin me. The delivery and the sepultura-esque of it is like really intense. That goes further to, to that whole thing making it thematic. And I think how you play off of each other is super cool because like Tosin's saying, you've got the hip hop thing going and you've got uh, uh, the metal thing. And uh, it's really, really, really powerful. Scary in a great way. <laughs> I agree, and, and one of the things that I look for in a band is where you're able to peel back those layers. So not only are you heavy as fuck, not only can you groove so fucking hard and make all, but then not just like what Alice said, you're not just like, okay, we're just gonna keep time. Everyone's got their moment. You know, all of a sudden there's these drops, you're like, wait, what happened? I was just grooving, what happened? Now I'm on a ride with you. You can do one more. Now you got like five ultimate moments that you've, you've already blown someone's mind five times within one song. Then all of a sudden when they're walking away and they're like, they're humming something that you just did, that's that's number six and they're a fan for fucking life. So it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. I loved you guys a lot. Thank you. Hell yeah, guys. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs>
I saw you look away at, at the end, and I know you know um, some of that was a little half step off the whole time. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay. yeah. I but was let me, like, let me, let me reassure. You have some of the best pitch in here. That yeah, yeah. I, mean, that, I think that, that started yeah. off at the beginning, and I like kind of yeah. wanted to start over. Yeah, I don't know if I like couldn't hear. No, in the yeah, we've all been that, yeah. and, and usually yeah. it's because there's something going on in the room where like yeah. you're the tr the translation of whatever you're hearing. You and it's really hard to come out of that. Believe me, I've been there in front of know, like, was, like thousands of people. Of like all. I know this is wrong, but I can't reverse it, and it's and and so don't. I I just wanted to reassure. You just take a moment to reassure you that, like, it's cool, girl. We, we've all been there. It's okay for you to take a breath. Yeah. You're not gonna sing. You're gonna go over yeah. to whoever is gonna give you your note, like, rub her back and be like, I, you know, I need you to, like, play a super obvious, like, the bass notes. It feels a little bit like you don't quite, haven't quite committed to a genre to me. And, and so nothing quite stays long enough to be, like, if you're this character, then you got to develop that one and maybe work your verse melodies a bit more intricate with your vocal lines, your melodies, you know? It is really hard. We've all been there when you can't find the pitch and it's a nightmare, but we all know you can sing, we all know you can play, and we know you've got 14 genres you can be in. I think when I was most impacted by you, it, it wasn't in a band context. like. I feel like I have memories of your first performance and I remember you know you on the piano and I remember you with the last knife fighter and like your raw talent and versatility cut through but I don't think the band the rock band context is in my opinion the best representation for you yeah. I think I agree with Gavin where I think you should sort of commit to an aesthetic and just really kind of like develop that it's almost like because you can do so many things that you're you felt like it was almost like an advantage, like an, a selling point, and it, and it is. But I think we've been convinced of your raw talent like before today, and we're not even tripping that you know you couldn't find pitch because we we were just like yeah, like your intonation is actually like remarkably good. So <laughs> don't trip. Thanks, guys.
Jesus, yeah. guys. No, that was awesome. So many surprises. With you guys, it's, you're just peeling back the onion. It's like, all right, the first verse is like, okay, cool. There's something that gets my attention. And nobody gets in each other's way. Like everybody like has their moment, but nobody's like stepping on each other. And you're all super tight. Are you playing with a click track? That's awesome. I love you even more now. Because because you make all these stops and everyone's trusting each other and you're all so on the same level musically. And then you have the stops and the starts and then all of a sudden, oh yeah, you break out the, <laughs> the harmonic. And, and you're wailing on that as well. You use it like a voice and that's hard to do. And then all of a sudden I'm like, what? Are they, do they have one more surprise in store? And then you have this three-part guitar mini. That was really cool, guys. The arrangement of that is insane. I mean, I love that. It doesn't follow any pattern at all because it's all coming from you. That shows how tight a band is when they can play like that and don't sound like anybody else. I mean, there's nobody sounds like that. To me, that's, that's the apex of the whole thing. On top of the playing ability, it doesn't, I couldn't compare it to anybody, you know? I, I keep trying to explain you guys to somebody and I go, ah, just look at the video. <laughs> there is going to be an insane, insane touring landscape for you guys at every outdoor festival ever. I think your life is going to change. I mean, that was, that was one of the most insane things I've ever watched. The energy is, uh, it's mind blowing and it's amazing and I can't say enough good things. Yeah. So I think that's the best song you guys have played. I think I've been struggling with a degree of like novelty I think you guys bring, which is part of the fun, but I was waiting for you to transcend the novelty and I think you did into a, an originality thing. Like that last song merged the, a lot of the bluegrass elements and all the thrash, but it, it became a different thing. You know, you shut me up there with that song because that verse was great, the rhythm was great, and the, the flow and the melody, the choices you made. Just really mine that side of your lives because the more individual you make each song, the way less of it's like you, you want much more serious to me, much more serious. It's a really good job. Thank you. Thanks.
when you get to a pivotal thing like you'll be underground, go deeper in your voice. Make it more threatening. Because that's the point. You know, you're, you, everything stopped. You're going to be underground. Yeah, yeah. And then go back to your other voice because that, that gives you a different, yeah. It's, now it's a threat. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. I, now I believe you. Now I'm sitting there going, whoa, okay. Yeah. I won't do that then. Yeah, my only note was just at the end, you knew what you were going to do for the beginning. And then in the middle, I felt you a little like, okay, like, you know, this is, a, this is crazy. And then at the end, it was so iconic and insane. But that little middle part, I would love for you to think of something to do during that time, whatever feels authentic to you. I don't want to use the word choreography because it really is like whatever takes over your body in that moment, you know? But I would love for you to just like lean into it even more. But uh, I, th- I felt like that was another great performance. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I get it. I do get it. You guys are a fully conceived band. You're nailing the thing you set out to do, which is, which is cool. I feel like I want to hear some vocal effects on you, maybe, just because electronic music is so textural. And for some reason, like, I don't even think there's reverb on your voice or anything. It's just... Yeah, it's just a... I hate reverb. But you know what? It's not about you. Well, I know. No, 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 I'm saying it's, 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 about, it's about your vocal and what sounds best. Right. And reverb, I... I, I it's what we're used today. Everybody draws themselves. Reverb is the only thing I use. And it is... It will make you sound like a million bucks. And then guess what? It makes you sound like a million bucks. And then you guys all fucking have a million bucks because you've done that. On the vocals? He's saying turn them up. Oh, turn them up. Yeah. And then the last thing I'll say is at the very end, uh, it got so heavy. And um, I really liked it. You just write really well-crafted songs and you support each other and you play well. I would say definitely you're my favorite songwriters that I've heard since I've been on this show. And uh, well done for that. I mean this in the, in, the, in the nicest way possible, but you're Josie. That's the name. You know, you're Josie Pace. It, it's your thing. And just a little advice because, I mean, I saw this coming up in the, all the music conferences and... and been playing with a bunch of bands is that is that as much as I know this is your passion project too when people are asking what she wants don't just jump in and talk for her just, just I'm just giving you advice because it's going to come up and I know you're passionate and you should be absolutely but unless it's like you're gonna make this into a band and it's a and it's a three-way thing and you're all gonna duke it out if it, it is truly her and you're your, her support system that you're gonna have to kind of like right. think about that right but, and, yeah, no, of course. I'm not trying to like break up the, the, the partnership. You guys are doing a great job. I'm just saying, you know, when you're dealing with like industry people and even a panel like this, you know, just, just keep that in the back of your head. All right, judges, let's hear your thoughts. Jenny March, who's obviously a, a star and she's well on her way doing stuff. The one band that just keeps coming up with the quality on every level is Howl. You can't dismiss them at all. But Slay Squad tonight stepped it up. The Slay Squad, like, they have everything but the song. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys, I just want to say, so I worked with them, and I came in with a pre-chorus and chorus and a post-chorus, and, I, like, I saw it today. Like, I saw how it benefited them to, to be with, like, a writer. I saw them with a hook, and it it fit them perfectly. It, I felt it had that popness. I just fear that it's like maybe a one-trick pony. But in their current state, I, I still I I want something memorable, and I, I'm not really getting it. Other than the fact that it's really heavy all the time, which is great. And then with Jenny, unfortunately, we got the worst performance out of her that we've gotten all week. And she was like not a shoe in, but I was convinced of her talent. And then today, it kind of. Um, and I was surprised by Native Howl. You know, my danger with Native Howl is that it's, it's just gimmicky. And I don't know if I'm at a theme park for bluegrass. They're extremely brilliant musicians. The, the best songwriters today was a Josie entourage. You know, best yeah. understanding of dynamics of music and, and, and everything and lyrics and stuff. Now, to your point with, with Native Howl, I feel like they started in with the gimmick 
and then slowly but surely kept peeling that away to like the last song that we heard, it was all musicianship. So I feel like with Native, how they're a lot further along than you know anybody on this stage. No one's really brought up Josie. Are we not feeling that? That band in the running for. Uh... I like her a lot, and I, I I agree with Gavin. That was the best songs and the best risk lyrically that we have seen in this entire show. Vocally, do you feel that she's strong enough? Vocally, I think she needs a little bit of work. A little bit, uh, vo right? Vocally, I think that she has the capability. Like if she gets in with some lessons and maybe just finds her own voice. You know, I'm torn between uh, Slay Squad and Native Howl, and and I. And I I wish both bands had slayed me with better songs to make it definitive. And it's their fault they haven't made my mind up. Howl is, goes much deeper musically when you start listening to, if they've done four albums, I guarantee you they go deeper than what they, we just saw today. I just find that sort of traveling man down, it's not the same as like when he's, uh, the lyrics of Slay Squad were just, it just feels so real. Did you read the lyrics though? I mean, they're kind of like, I've heard that a lot. I mean, it's so difficult in music to be completely original. It's, I couldn't tell one song from the other song. I mean, the depth to Native Howl is obviously immeasurable when you think of it. They could do probably anything. Yeah. All right, it's been a wild ride. Whoever the judges pick tonight, will move on to the final. So we leave it up to you guys. Let's go judges, to your napkins. It is time to find out which act is going to be moving on to the finals. Let's bring in the bands. All right, we have all of the bands on stage ready to find out who's gonna be moving on to the finals. We're gonna start off with the lovely Lizzie Hale. Show us your napkin. Guys, this was so tough. This was the toughest night for me because everyone is so amazing. Slay Squad, you made me want to get out of my seat and I don't, I, I literally, my chair was back here. Um, Jenny, you are an absolute star and are gonna have absolutely no problem, you know, having a career in all of this. And Native Howl, you guys blew my mind once again. I mean, I can't even, I can't even begin to comprehend um, how you do what you do. And Josie, you, your aesthetic and your attitude and everything that you have going on for you is amazing and I cannot wait to uh, watch you grow. Who right now would I take out and op you know, to uh, open up for my band like, like tomorrow? And so that's why I made the decision I did and it is for my Native Howl. Native Howl. All right, Gavin. Oh, God. <laughs> this is really hard for all of us, you know what I mean? We're not naturally, the idea of like picking, you know, music is so powerful because it fits every mood and every genre is important. Uh, but I do have a problem. And uh, that problem is that um, I can't figure it out because this hasn't been a definitive enough answer for me. Um, and so therefore, I am many people. And so I'm just gonna be two of me tonight, and I'm gonna have a split decision between Slay Squad and Native Howl. Okay, we have a split decision from Gavin. Because I wanna see them, I wanna hear more music from them both. Okay. I'm not ready to, to, to jump yet. You're not ready to say goodbye to either. I don't know that that's allowed, but I guess we'll have to ask the I've all, I've, I lived a life where things aren't <laughs> Are you allowed. The <laughs> We're not sure if this is allowed, <laughs> but we're gonna find out. Good. All right, it is your turn, Bishop. I very, 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 in front of the cameras and behind the scenes, I very, very rarely agree with Gavin. But today, I do. Ooh. Whoa! Wow. Another split decision. Yes. Okay. Wow, who knew? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, we this don't is... Know. We don't know what's other next. <laughs> this is really interesting now. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I, have to, I have to ask, is it possible that there could be a tie and that two artists can move on to the finals? Is that something that's possible? Do we? Because I guess because it's not. We still have two votes left, so it can still potentially be. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know we were able to choose more than one band. There's still your pen. Well, I think I'm going to commit to choosing one band, and the only reason that I'm okay with that is because I think you all have bright musical futures, like for sure, for sure. So I don't feel like I'm really, really, you know taking away from that, but 
I'm going to go with Native Howl. Native Howl. I did not see that so, coming. So, yeah, let's do, yeah math let's do some math here. I was, I was surprised with their last song, and I think they have headroom. I heard tonight that they're able to, to do things melodically that I didn't expect and dynamically, and so I'm just going to put my vote behind them. Now, no doubt in my mind that everybody on the stage is going to be headlining somewhere. I mean, it's, I've seen a lot of acts, and you've all got it. You've all got it. But I like to howl. Native howl. Okay. Come on, Bear. <laughs> okay, so Native Howl is moving on to the finals, right? Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> Congratulations, to you guys. How does it feel? Feels great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Back behind the Troubadour with Jenny Marsh. Jenny, you know, I know that you didn't make it to the finals, but I gotta say that you got to do a lot of really great things on the show and show yeah. your diversity. How was the experience for you overall? I mean, it was super fun. Like you said, I got to show a bunch of diversity and got, you know, a chance to collaborate with The Last Night Fighter, which was something a little out of my comfort zone. You know, perform a lot of my other songs um, on my project and to hear all the great response was, you know, really unbelievable and the exposure that, um, you know, the show is bringing to, you know, other original artists is really amazing and just the experience was great. And I'm glad you were here on the show because I thought you kicked some serious ass. It was great Thanks. to have you here. You know what I mean, Jenny? Thanks, Absolutely. I appreciate it. It was great to have you, and I wish you all the best. I know you're going to do great, and thanks so much for being a part of No Cover with us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, Jenny You'll Marsh. You'll see me soon. We will definitely see you soon. <laughs> We're behind the Troubadour, and you're watching No Cover. We're back behind the Troubadour, and I'm here with Josie Pace, and I'm hanging out right now with Ken and Mark and Josie. And I got to say, guys, listen, the one day you guys came in for the semifinals, judges were big fans of yours. Now the songs you guys did tonight were really great. The first one you did, uh, Perfect Replacement, was mm -hmm. really cool. I love the stop and start the stuff you did musically with it. And I noticed the judges were talking about that too and how mm -hmm. cool that was. Yeah. Um, and they really loved your style as well because there's no question about it, Josie, that you really have star quality. Thank Talk you. to me about what you're taking away from this experience. I think what I'm taking away is just to amplify myself and be more of myself and be truer to who I am and not take anybody the wrong way, but just just be who I am and don't take anybody's criticisms in a bad way. Guys, it was a pleasure having you on the show. You so I know, much. Thank you so much. I know the judges really enjoyed the experience with mm -hmm. you as well. I can speak for them, and uh, I'm sure I'll be seeing you on the road real soon. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you so All much. Right. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Josie Pace and her band. And we are behind the Troubadour. You are watching No Cover. Here behind the Troubadour on No Cover, and I'm here with Slay Squad. Guys, I know you guys didn't make it to the finals, but I know you have a lot of fans in the judges, and you blew a lot of people away. Tell me how the experience felt for you guys overall. Uh, it was a beautiful experience. It was like definitely eye-opening, learned a lot. Definitely got some good pointers from some good people, and you know, it didn't seem like any like ill will. It didn't really seem like they liked what they saw, and they saw ways that it could be enhanced. So it was definitely cool to learn, and you know, this is the only opportunity we would have been able to get that type of feedback. So it was real cool. Yeah. It was fun. So yeah. tell me, what are the, one of the things that you took away that the judges said? Song composition, like writing hooks, writing stuff that is uh, catchy and um, designed for like stadiums. You know, like that was like the big thing, just like taking our music to the next level so that we could impact even more people than we already have, you know? So it's like always greatly appreciated. Got to like meet legends as well and then hear critiques like from legends and not just people that don't know what they're talking about. So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, listen, I look forward to seeing you again doing this. All right? Thank you. I Thank wish you. you guys the best. Slay Squad, back behind the Troubadour. You're watching No Cover. All right, we are behind the Troubadour, and I'm here with Native Howl, and what an incredible performance tonight, and they're going to the finals. Guys, how exciting is that? <laughs> that's what I want to hear. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I know that the judges loved you guys from the very beginning. I noticed 
that they really reacted with the second song because it kind of went in a bit of a different direction. And uh, what did you feel when, when they were saying that to you? Well, we got to thank Blasco, our uh, mentor today, for shedding light on the fact that the judges wanted, they'd want in the second round to show us or have us show some depth to our compositional style. So we took, instead of doing two double time songs, we did Pappy, our second song, which shows instrumentation, switches, Jake switched the guitar, I switched to bazooki, and we slowed the tempo down. It was like a multifaceted instrumental change between sections. So we gotta thank Blasco for, you know, the direction and his mentorship really helped us out and saved us as far as the judges are concerned. But it's, it really is all about conviction and the energy. And I see that in your band. Talk true, to me about that. true, yeah. Um, well, we've been at it for a while and you know, I mean, starting out, I think Alex and I would always just challenge each other to make the craziest song. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like that's, like we were doing Middle Eastern scales and, you know, like mixing folk and metal and yeah. all yeah. these different things. And then, you know, we found this blend and it was just like, yeah, this is it. This it is what sense. we were looking for. It made sense. Right. And, I, and I don't know how it came out of Detroit. It just kind of, like, yeah. it just did, yeah. I guess. Looking forward to seeing what you guys bring to the finals. I know it's going to be strong, and I know it's going to be incredible. So, guys, good to see you here. Thank you. All the best of luck, and I know it's going to be an incredible day tomorrow. Thank you, man. Thanks, Thanks for doing sense. it. Thank you. Native Hell. We're going to see what happens in the finals. We are behind the Troubadour. You're watching No Cover. <laughs>